Hello both. If I'm not wrong, you advised in your latest video to get the smaller down payment possible. Yes. However, if the property price is above 800k, is it worth to have a mortgage for 30, 35 years? Hmm. Yeah, so the, in, independent of the mortgage amount, uh, the, the length of the mortgage um, is usually determined by the interest rate. Yep. Because you, you pay, it, your mortgage is actually, that's what some of you seem to forget, uh, is uh, principal and interest. And in the beginning, in the standard mortgage, let's say, right? If you, if you have a special mortgage, then it looks different. But if you just walk into a bank and say, I want a mortgage, this is what they'll get uh, you. One where you pay a lot of interest in the beginning and very little principal. Yep. And then over time, your interest goes down and down and down exponentially. And your uh, principal uh, goes up and up and up. So for you guys, like, this because it's all uh it's mirrored. yes yeah, sure. it changes it flips kind of yeah. right so yeah. uh and um it, it sounds a little counterintuitive but it's actually true and we have a calculator on the website uh too if uh, we don't forget it we link it the higher the interest rate the faster you paid off your mortgage yeah so in these times when we were financing for zero point some percent the mortgages were a little longer Nowadays, when the interest rate is a little higher, it's not skyrocket, which we'll have later on, but uh, nowadays that the mortgage is a little, or the interest is a little higher, the mortgage is shorter, right? So independent of the amount, just to, but usually the mortgage is between 25 and 30 years yeah. right, with the current interest rate. Yeah, it, yeah, and it depends also on the age, right? It depends on yeah. the age as well, but um, the goal is here really to use the maximum. Yeah. Meaning two percent principal. Yeah. If 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 it's allowed, if the bank wants two and a half or three, okay, then you have to do it. But with the standard bond where you pay two percent principal per year, it's usually between twenty five and thirty years. Yeah, that's exactly true. Yeah. Now let's see if the property price is above eight hundred k. Doesn't change uh, anything for me. Uh, no. I would just leverage. Uh, but it's 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 also a risk question right of course the more leverage you have the more risk you have but if it's allowed and it's still allowed i would uh i would leverage as much as i can i would put zero down if i could only pay the additional purchasing costs uh put zero down and get an 800k mortgage from the bank absolutely and brian i don't know what the strategy is um from your uh, purchase if 800k I don't know if it's for you or if it's an investment or if you want to do a big gig concept. Like it also depends what yield you get, what ROI you get at the end of the year. But um, we in Munich, we also have I mean, 800K properties. Yeah. But you have to be smart here. Really, you have to get a smart strategy. You have to, um, usually we do a big gig concept here in Munich. So that means you have three to four or five people in one um, property living and then you're generating better cash flow so that means you are having higher rent um, and you're going to be pretty quick into cash flow positive so it depends on the strategy yeah as well. exactly yeah yeah if you're looking for positive cash flow then a down payment can make sense or is yeah. even necessary yeah. and then i think you would need to do the uh, the analysis and see okay if i put in 10k more which is actually not that much for an 800k property but uh, how much does it mean in terms of monthly cash flow? Yeah. And then you come pretty quick to, okay, where's like my limit for opportunity cost? Because if you put in 200K, then of course you will be cash flow positive with a couple of hundred euros, but then it costed you 200 in the beginning. So maybe uh, instead of putting 200 down, let's just say you have it uh, for, for the sake of the argument, uh, instead of putting 200K, which you could invest somewhere else in ETFs or Absolutely. wherever, uh, then I'd rather have a small negative cash flow instead of putting in a large sum of money in the beginning. Yeah. But that's me. Yeah, it, yeah, it's true. It depends on the strategy. But if you, that's what I said right now to, if you're having a higher income, right? I mean, what means higher, even high income, it makes sense to save some taxes. And in that way, you save it. You have to pay additional money on top of it. Yeah. And then use that time, right? And later on, um, you're going to be a cash flow positive. So then you enjoy. But putting 200K into a down payment, I wouldn't put that either. Yeah. Which was just an example for yeah. me, right? Yeah. So yeah. it was just an example. I wouldn't put that either. I prefer to put multiple investments. And then after 10 years, guys, you can sell it tax-free. Yeah. You don't know. You're going to put on, for example, now if we uh, stick with a 200K, just as, as an example, you're going to put 200K right now, 
sell it after 10 years, you're going to be like, man, why I didn't buy anything else with that 200K? Yeah. 